What's up, y'all? It's the J. Roos Theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'm going to start a new series called Dream Matches. I started one on my NWJ page last year. It's doing pretty well. It's at, I only got like 74 subscribers over there, and it's at 1.1 thousand views about a dream match between Ika Bayabuchi, who many people thought would have been a all-time great had, had his career continued, but I was talking about who would have won that dream fight between Ika Bayabuchi and Mike Tyson. We kind of got a glimpse of it with the Ika Bayabuchi david Tua fight back in the day on HBO. It was the highest punch output of any heavyweight fight at the time. I don't think it's been surpassed uh, even today. But if you haven't seen that Ika Bayabuchi versus David Tua fight, go check that out. And go check out the video I did too on my NWJ platform. Um, I want to talk about this dream match. Who would have won between Iron Mike Tyson and David Tua? Now, David Tua never hit the canvas. Um, I don't even know if he hit the canvas as an amateur. He stopped Michael Moore, I think it was with a body shot. He's, the fight against John Ruiz was so brutal. It's kind of hard to watch. Kind of reminds me of the Ray Mercer, Tommy Morrison knockout. But go check that out if you have it. That's uh, a loud train out there. I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, David Tua was a tough guy. He had that solid build. He's about 5'10", stocky built, big legs, big calves, big thighs. Um, Mike Tyson sometimes is listed around six feet, but I, I think uh, Andrew Tucker said he met him before, and I believe Mike's more around 5'10", um, you know, probably depending on the shoes. But uh, they're about the same height. Mike Tyson, more chiseled, but David Tua you know, very solidly built, and um, Lennox Lewis beat David Tua, but that's because uh, one of the reasons is just hard to get in on someone like Lewis with such height, and he know how to use his reach and use his jab, but who do you think would have won between David Tua and Mike Tyson? Um, that would have been a great match. I think some people believe that Mike Tyson's handlers were trying to keep him away from David Tua when he got out of the, the penitentiary. Um, I don't, I know Mike Tyson wouldn't have ducked him, you know, that's not how Mike got down. But uh, uh, I believe David Tua's record, I believe he had 52 um, fights for, uh, or 52 wins, 43 knockouts, and um, I think five losses or something like that. And I think Mike Tyson, 50 wins, 44 knockouts, and six losses. So their records are not that different. And uh, David Tua started much later than Mike Tyson, his pro career, but you see they had about the same amount of fights. And Mike Tyson's losses, um, you can't really count a lot of those because those came so late in his career when he kind of lost his hunger for fighting. And uh, I wish Mike would get off all the uh, different things he's on right now. I'm like, what would Custom Auto have said about all this? The dude is, he's just doing all kind of stuff when you watch his podcast. I'm like, man, stay, you know, get back to the discipline and add he, uh, he needs to get his life right. That's what he needs. He needs Yeshua. But uh, he and David Tua, I think that fight would uh, probably go the distance. I think Mike Tyson would do what Teddy Atlas would call silent agreements. Like after you see you can't knock a guy out, you kind of, you know, if David Tua cooperated, it's where you clinch a guy and they clinch you back and both of you kind of, make an agreement, okay, I won't hit you hard if you don't hit me. I don't think David Tua would have gone for that, even though Mike might have tried it. But I think once Mike came out with his onslaught and saw David Tua was going nowhere, he would have started hugging, and then David Tua would have unloaded on him. I don't think either guy would have stopped either guy. I think it would have gone the full 12 rounds. I think David Tua's punch output might have beat Mike Tyson because look at the Tua-Ika Bayabuchi fight with the punch output. 
So I think Tua might have won on a split decision. I'm going to say split decision for David Tua. Not saying he was a, a greater fighter than Mike Tyson. I just think matchup-wise, um, it's kind of a bad matchup for Mike Tyson. Um, it's, it might be hard for either guy to look good in that fight because they're so similarly built and they throw a lot of hooks. Um, but it would have been fun to watch, you know, seeing them two go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So uh, let me know who you guys would have uh, been pulling for, who you think would have won between David Tua and Mike Tyson. This is the J. Roos Theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe. LSR forever, the reason I do this. And uh, be fearless, homie. Yay, yay.